Hi, this is David and you're watching Critical Trading. I have an equity curve of an algorithmic trading system that I recently included in my algorithmic strategy portfolio. This system trades US stocks and to be more specific, it short sells the stocks. I'll share more of its details in a couple of minutes, but what I wanted to go over now is that this system's equity curve, which is this purple line that you can see on my screen now, um, does not seem to suggest that this system is worthwhile to trade. We can see that essentially this system has been losing its capital right from the start of the data that was tested on up to this point here, uh, which would have been around five years, I think. And at this point, its equity curve recovered, but nevertheless, the equity curve overall is just not satisfactory. Now, if you've been interested in algorithmic trading for some time and have done some research yourself, then you know that most common route that most people opt for at this stage is to start optimizing this system's trading rules. Perhaps if we use any indicators with this system, we can optimize their variables to arrive at a set of rules that would produce much better looking equity curve. Despite this is a valid approach, I don't personally use it that much simply because it gives rise to a risk of over-optimizing the system. In other words, arriving at a set of rules that were fitted to the historical data to produce the best possible results. But these rules will fail in the live trading and the performance of the system will be anything but close to the backtested expected performance. Now, if you've personally deployed some algorithmic trading systems in the real market yourself, then you are most likely able to relate to this. Now, I like to do something different. What I like to do instead is to try to understand the logic of a trading system that I'm developing and see whether I can work with that logic further to improve its performance without having to resort to adding more complexity to its rules and you know risking that I will over-optimize it. Now, there's no guarantee ever that I won't over-optimize the trading system. I just wanna make sure that I minimize that uh, as much as I can. And that's exactly what I managed to do with this particular trading system and have since deployed it in uh, the real markets. And let me show you what exactly I've done so you can take that away for your own trading and inspiration. So let's have a look at a trading setup that this system trades. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a short selling system. So it short sells any US stock um, that's being traded on any major uh, US exchange. And it looks for the most volatile stocks. I have specialized software called AmiBroker that I use that scans thousands of stocks for trading signals on a daily basis. And so I obviously do not find the setups manually myself, which is the beauty of uh, algorithmic trading. When you have a strategy that you can write in the form of a code, you can automate uh, the process significantly and you can scale it quite a bit, which is something you can't do. Uh, when you trade manually, for example. Now, one such setup is visible on this chart. This chart belongs to the stock ticker ERJ. And as we can see, this is a rather volatile stock. We can see that by, by the fact that this stock keeps making significant overnight moves, such as this one here. And that's very important. So I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Just keep that in mind. To briefly explain this strategy, it looks for the most volatile stocks in the US stock market by selecting the stocks that show the highest standard deviation of their closing price over the past X days. Now, this is the backbone of its logic, but obviously there's a couple more rules to it that uh, are then used to filter out the signals further. This system sells the stocks at open of the following day uh, that follows the day at which the signal was generated. This is done by using what's referred to as a MOO order type, market on open. In practical terms, system generates a list of stocks with valid sell signals as at the end of a trading day. 
and then it sells these stocks at open of the following day using that MOO order type and all these orders are prepared before the stock market opens. Um, this approach is very common in systematic stock trading on daily time frames as it does not require any automation and therefore it can be done manually. It is therefore the most commonly used uh, approach among beginners. Now, that was the entry side of this system, but how about the exit? It is an exit on the first down day following the entry. I define a down day in my code as stocks closing price closing lower than its opening price for the day. In case of this particular trade, exit signal was generated as at close of the day at which the trade got opened. And now, how is the exit actually executed? Well, the initial version of the system worked with exit that's delayed until the open of the following day. Um, so an identical execution as on the entry side. The equity curve I showed you in the beginning of this video belonged to this iteration of this system. The problem with that though is that due to the nature of this system, its positions carry a significant overnight risk, which in practical terms translates into its positions likely to have significant overnight moves, exactly as it happened in the case of this trade. To be precise, despite the stock closed lower than it opened on entry day, and effectively that day ended up in profit, this profit was uh, eliminated completely overnight and in fact the position was then closed in loss at open of the following day just because of the delay in exit execution. So what if we decided to close the trade at close of the exit signal day rather than uh, waiting until the open of the following day? How would this affect this strategy? My rationale here is that it should affect the strategy quite a bit since it mostly holds volatile stocks that are subject to significant overnight moves as it actually focuses on trading stocks like these. Well, as you may have guessed, the difference in performance is quite significant. The red equity curve is the original version of this system which closes its open positions at open of the following day. It's worth noting that the maximum recorded historical drawdown of this system was around 68%, which is obviously not tradable, especially since the live drawdown will always be higher in reality. That's just the reality of trading. On the other hand, the purple equity is the exact same system, but with a slight change in exit execution, exiting at close of the signal day, making sure no positions are held overnight and so the exit setup is identical it's just the execution of the exit that's different that's the only change uh, that's the only difference between these two equity curves on my screen and that's the takeaway from this video simply by understanding logic of a trading system and working to tweak the execution of this logic I was able to massively improve the performance of this system without having to resort to adding more complexity, more rules and risking that I will over optimize it. I highly recommend that you take your existing trading systems or models and just play around with different entry and exit executions to see what the difference it makes. Now, I have to point out that the particular exit logic that I opted for uh, with this system requires access to real-time data at close of the market since the exit setup is validated at close. Um, for that reason, this would be quite a challenge to roll out uh, without the degree of automation. I personally have a script that I wrote in Python that checks for exit setups one minute before the market closes and it closes the position if that is the case. Also, um, backtest results of systems that short sell the stocks will never be 100% accurate um, due to shorting constraints. Simply put, not all stocks are shortable at any given time. 
um, and I'm not able to model this in historical backtest. So from my experience, short systems, life performance, uh, given that everything else has been equal, will be about 30% worse than its historical projected uh, and backtested performance. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Critical Trading and I hope to see you in the next video.